Barbaresco's wine was born at the end of the 19th century, 40 years after Barolo. Barbaresco was a village nearby, but wasn't really famous, although we were growing the same grape. And they started to make the very same wine with the very same grape with the name of the village. So that's how Barolo and Barbaresco became twin brothers. Where Barolo is mouth-filling and impulsive, Barbaresco is more uplifted and elegant. The first wine cooperative in Barbaresco was founded in 1894. A small partnership between nine farmers, including my grand-grandfather. And after the Second World War in 1958, a second wine cooperative was founded in Barbaresco, this time with the name Produttore del Barbaresco. We don't deal with any white grapes, we don't deal with any other grapes in the region, just Nebbiolo grapes from the Barbaresco village. Focusing on one wine only almost forced the winery in the quality pattern, to walk the quality pattern, especially in those years, the 60s, the 70s, when quantity was more where the money was to be made. Right now, we have 54 farmers, and we control altogether 114 hectares. The total Barbaresco appellation is now 700 hectares, and our single vineyards reserve wines are among the finest in the Barbaresco category. Nebbiolo is a grape varietal that is able to give a lot of complexity to the wine, but also a lot of tannin and structure. So it's not an easy wine to be produced, and it's not an easy grape to grow. But in the region of Piemonte, Barolo Barbaresco, you really found a great spot to grow. The Barbaresco that we produce is a straightforward, classic example of Barbaresco. It delivers the quality of the vintage. It's a wine where the winemaker takes his hands off, just make sure that everything goes smoothly. In a way, it's a, it's a true, essential, naked Barbaresco, because we are very confident in the quality of the soil that we have, in the quality of the grapes. Our single vineyards are a selection of the best grapes from the best historical vineyards in Barbaresco, and they're aged four years before release. We only release the single vineyards when the vintage is exceptionally good. 15, if I have to describe one word, is solid. It's a great vintage, powerful, tannin, solid structure. It's a wine that uh, will need a couple of more years to really reach the perfect balance between tannins and fruit. But uh, the ripe fruit, due to the warm uh, summer, it's really pleasant. But you can definitely feel this extra ripeness, a little more exotic character in the fruit, and good for the cellar and good to drink uh, two, three years from now. Barbaresco is Barbaresco, and it will always uh, will be. The quality is there and is shining and is very, very consistent. We just like to show the quality that is there in every single vineyard, in every vintage, year after year.